Okay, the, 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 okay, the, the previous fee, eh? I won't say the current, but the previous fee, which is $72 for a new book or ordinary book, and uh, 180 for a replacement book for the same period of time for processing that particular book. And uh, obviously, it changes when uh, it is applied for, uh, for, for, for urgent processing. Urgent processing. 180 and 72. And uh, for, for, for this one, it's 200. And um, the new fee for a replacement book, if it's lost, mutilated, uh, is uh, $400. Um, the onus is on, on the individual. Uh, not to lose your book. Uh, we, we've noted the number of um, applicants. Uh, some have uh, damaged or mutilated the books by accidentally putting it into, into the washing machine. Uh, those are the kind of excuses that we have. Eh? Um, if, you, if, you, if you apply for a renewal and you bring in that old passport, it will be according to the same fee of $200. But if it's mutilated, damaged, and or even lost, that additional requirements uh, will be required. And, and therefore, there are other services that, uh, that are including the fees uh, for, for some services that we're currently providing right now without, without uh, additional fee. Some we tend to go on a Sunday or even on a Monday, and they've lost their book on a Friday, or their book was accidentally put into the washing machine on a Saturday, and they've come to us for, uh, for a replacement book. See, that's damaged or lost. And we provided that service with the same fee. We are taking somebody out from a weekend with their family. They're coming to provide the services. There's not only only one one person that is involved. We have to consider those. Uh, we have also introduced a new uh, passport this time, which never been done. This is for uh, it's called official passport. This is mostly for their um, the civilian force, uh, police, uh, military, and uh, uh, I think senior civil servants. Uh, senior civil servants that will be uh, uh, using this passport. And if you see, this is the this is the polycarbonated plate that I'm talking about. It's a seven-layer uh, heat-pressed security feature. Each layer has got its own security feature. So it's now, if you see, it's, it's very thick, and you can't tear it and uh, uh, use any any pen to uh, work on this. And at the back, this is where the uh, this is where the the chip is, the electronic chip. So it's more or less like your smartphone. And it's got copper wires all around this, so this is where we put all the data, whatever data we uh, is required by the immigration, we put it here. And this is, li it is uh, linked to the international border management system. Okay, the advantage of, uh, of uh, having this uh, um, advancement or the uh, transition to e-passport is uh, uh, it is much more safer. There will be, I can say, less of questions being asked by the border security on the other end. Uh, quick uh, facilitation time, that is, if you go to a country where there is uh, smart gates or e-gates, you can go through the gate with these passports. You don't have to go to a counter where there's someone who will be looking at your book, seeing the visa, but while, while uh, you, you um, process it through the counter, you place it on the counter, on the smart gate, it identifies everything is in here as per what is on the chip, and then you can go through without going through uh, the line at the queue at the counters. Uh, pending applications from the 6th of February to today, and uh, we've uh, put out an advertisement for control measure 2 on our side that uh, we'll have a number of applications. That is from the month of February. It'll take about three days, but not everyone coming. If we'll put out uh, uh, for those that have applied on the month of February to come tomorrow, all of those will come on the, and we will have, uh, obviously we'll have a lot of people here to handle. So we've, we've set out a date. If that, this message could be uh, sent out clearly to uh, members of the public on the certain dates that uh, that we put out for uh, those that have applied for to come to our office for the uh, enrollment and also for the issuance, if they can come on those days, and uh, it will take from now until uh, until uh, uh, in the middle or end of October.